What's going on, guys? Uh, it's a, what is it? Sunday morning or Saturday night, however you want to look at it. I'm out paving again and um, having a good time out here, but we got we are on rain delay and my shift just started, so um, I'm just kind of waking up, but we're, we're on rain delay. And I was on YouTube and then I thought, well, oh, maybe I'll make a video. So, um, um, so what I want to talk about on this video was just the importance of working hard for a purpose that actually matters. So in my opinion, what actually matters is freedom and not fancy things. So, um, I don't really know what it is that I want to do, but I know that I want to, it's going to take money to do it. Um, so that's the reason that I work as hard as I do. And I know you guys can't, you don't know how hard I work. It's kind of goofy me telling you that I work hard. I I don't, I don't really like telling people things. I like to do things, but, uh, but the main thing is, is that what I'm trying to come across as is try to get a goal that you want to accomplish and then work towards it. Don't make your goal being, I would, I don't think it's a good idea to have a goal to work as least amount as possible to just get by. Expand your thinking so that you can prosper and I mean the, the goal I don't know how I'm going to do it but the goal is to make your money grow without you having to put your labor into it so basically what I'm saying is is trucking is just amazing um, the different levels of trucking and how much money is in it and I guess when I started back in 2013, I never would have thought that life would be as simple as it is and to make how much money that I make. And the, the cool thing about trucking and owning a little fleet of trucks and doing some, some, uh, doing some subcontracting type work is that you... You can make a whole bunch of money and you can make a living doing that. But then if you still are willing to get in the truck and, and hustle every day, it's almost like free income for you because you already have all the expenses covered and you're already doing it anyways. So I feel like it's really boosted me and where I'm at in life. But the main thing is, is that the goal is is to I don't want to diversify too much because I don't have a problem with trucking it's just an incredible business um, and I don't see any reason why to I mean I like diversification in an industry so learning something from scratch takes a lot of time and I feel like if you want to do that then you better get yourself a mentor and I'm not saying pay for one but somehow you got to find one go on YouTube and, and and watch someone's YouTube videos on how to do something that you want to do but when it comes to trucking if you already know a little bit about something then you can take that little bit of knowledge that you do know and exponentially I feel like get involved in other things and have multiple streams of income all in one business um and i don't know if you're like a mega carrier maybe that's probably i don't know if that's a good way to go but i feel like for me and my business it helps keep money coming in all the time and it works out really well but the main thing is is so i got the trucking thing i'm figuring it out 
you know, I, I, I can't stress this enough. I feel like people on YouTube, they act, they act like they've got it all figured out. Or the people that watch might feel like they got it all figured out. And I don't have it all figured out. I'm far from it. And the more trucks that I have and the more uh, people that I meet and money that I make, it feels like the less that I know and that I need I need to get gain more information and like mistakes happen on a daily basis and the struggle is real I mean there's just I was talking to my mom and she's like you know she's always like oh oh how are you doing today oh like, you know she knows I guess she thinks that I work hard or whatever so but I do but she's like my my biggest cheerleader so but um no basically i was talking to her and i she said well how's your day going and i said oh it's pretty good and i said it's pretty good but uh it really wasn't that great of a day and and then i was thinking about all the things that happened and it's hard to, for me to remember now but one truck had a flat tire first round and I don't know someone didn't show up and somebody was late and I don't know there's just the challenges that you got to overcome to get where you want to go and it, it's not easy but it's worth it so so anyways the the point is is that well and Adam says this all the time he says our worst day is is a lot of people's best day <laughs> And that's a bold statement, but basically what he's, I, I feel like he's telling the truth. It's serious. It's a, it, it's, a, it's just a mindset to have when you're maybe down on yourself. And then, um, but basically work hard, have a goal in mind, you know, get some trucks, get a truck, pay a truck off, you know, whatever it is that you're going to do. And then try to figure out a way to have money working for you. And one of the ways that I do that in trucking is I buy trailers and have people pull them. The only thing about it is it doesn't, the trailer never appreciates in value, but it does hold its value fairly well. And I think I'll talk about that next.